part of the reason for being managed in the hospital is to learn how to care for the condition at home. And uh, it's uh, good to note that once uh, people have been taught as parents or as teachers, you can actually administer almost all the treatment that the child requires at home. One is you must be prepared to do regular testing of the blood sugar level. Uh, we have portable devices that you can use at home easily, you can be taught. After measuring the blood sugar, then you are taught how to adjust your insulin accordingly and also to adjust it according to what the child is eating. And you find that with um, adherence to these requirements, uh, you can actually avoid hospitalization for the longest time in majority of children. And they can safely be managed at home. <laughs> Zenye walikuwa wametufunza nipige picha basi mimi niliona ni expensive juu kama tuseme kwamba kama unga yenye walikuwa nasema nipee huyu mtoto ni ile inaitwa afya kwenda ku nilijaribu kuinunua lakini nikafika mahali nikaona sitaweza tulirudi sana nikaenda Kenyata tukafunzwa sasa nikaona hii kaugali kidogo na mboga nyingi nikaona hiyo afadhali juu hii unga ingine haina bekali lakini ni hii ya afya iko na bekali sita manenji. Daktari akaniambia juu ni mtoto mdogo tusimweke ni kama tumemtega. Hata kama ni chakula ya white tunakula, tumpatie ni small portion na tumweke mboka kwa wingi. Kama ni ugali tunamkatia ka ugali kadoka lakini tukule ya kusiaga hata sisi. Tukule ya kusiaga. Alafu mboka tumweke big portion na ka protein tumweke kadoko. Ivo ivo tu aendelee juni mtoto mdogo kama amekataa hisi cha kuanza brown. Duncan is a very uh, uh, is an okay boy as long as the condition is you know the condition has not emerged or it has not come up. So most of the times it is easy to manage him and some most of the times you hardly remember because I think from the parent now from home they try to manage him as much as possible. So actually it does not come so much as an issue. Even when you're coming to school or he's in class, you hardly remember. But times once and again you realize now the condition, the condition has come up. And then uh, from what she has, Mama Duncan has like, now it came an issue, I told her now she has to keep instructing me on how I should, I should uh, handle the boy in case of this the condition. Nikona changamoto juu, unaona mimi, by the way, kasi yangu ni mimi. Ni mimi tu sina mtu mwingine nategemea. Kwa hivyo ni lazima nijipange. Nafanyanga hizi kazi za community health volunteer. Kero community health worker volunteer. Nafanyanga hizo. Niko unit inaitwa Musesha iko Soweto. Alafu saa zingine nikipata kibarua ya kufua ninaenda ninafua kama kama saa hii tunarirai na hiyo ya kufua njuu sijapata tangu nitoke hospitali sijapata kapito ya kurundisha kasi alafu na Emmanuel ni rasima andungwe na hizo vitu ni rasima nifanye mimi zote juu ya kukaa huko hospitali karibu nipoteze pia kazi wakati huo lakini wakakuja wakanikubalia wakanikubalia nikarudi kazi chenye kiko tangu huyu mtoto akojeke madeni ndizo nimekusanya hivi Juu mara mingi mingi tumekuwa siendi siendi kazi juu yake. Sengine unaweza pata nimeachia mtu fulani sasa nimeenda kwa so hiyo mtu ajui kumumanage. Unapata tumerudi tena back. Tangu akojeke hii mwaka ndio sijalala hospitali peke yake. Tukio tunalazwa kila mwezi wa sita ukifika tunarudi hospitali. These children, the parents, when the children get diabetes, the biggest uh, the biggest uh, constraint that they have is getting the insulin. It is getting education even for the family to know how to manage. And so the DMI center has continued giving insulin with Novo Nordisk, uh, giving insulin at no cost. Sometimes when you have the kid and then you are told the kid has been, okay, the kid could spend a day in school, and then by the end of the day, okay, when the condition strikes and it's like a bit serious, you understand they are admitted in a hospital. And maybe that was the very day you had planned to ask for the school fees. So you are forced to, for, to, to get silent about everything because you wonder how do I ask for school fees for my mother who is even sick in bed. The major difficulty comes in accessing uh, testing 
because you have to have the device but also test strips which are used uh, on a daily basis and they cost. Uh, you also need to provide insulin and this also costs. Many people uh, have a fear for injections and in both their testing and in the administration of insulin an injection is required. Many people worry that the child is in pain uh, when we are either testing the blood or administering the insulin but it's good to know that actually it's a painless procedure and we can actually train anybody to do it quite easily and we encourage parents to do it on themselves before doing it on the child just to be assured that the child is not suffering uh, from both interventions. Simuachiangi mtu you ni kuna wakati nilikaa kama naweza muachia mtu nikaona awa manage ta kitu tu kamefanyika maybe atujamdunga juu tulikuwa nimeambiwa ni simudunge kama sijampima wakati kama last year siku mudunga tulilazwa juu alikuwa sijampima nilikuwa nimemaliza strips na siku nimekujia huko Kenya nilikuwa nimekosa hata fare ya kufika huko DMI fare peke yake inakosa ile mtoto alijulikana kwa na hiyo ugonjwa ya kisukari tulipotoka ile hospital ile private unajua alitupe machine walini saidia na kama chin na two strips hizo strips ni kwambie vile nilimaliza kupima mtoto nilibaki sipimangi mtoto ni kungesi nilikuwa na ngas mimi nilikuwa tu na ngas nilikuwa tu nikimwangalia hivi afikiri sana aweza mdunga sasa sijui hata kama nilikuwa na mdunga ikiwa chini ama ikiwa juu in 2009 we were still going on we got 50 children now on the program of giving insulin, giving uh, glucometers to check their blood sugars and the testing strips. Our children with diabetes should not be treated special. They should be loved like any other child in the home and in the school. When he's not able sometimes to open the tin, the, another kid is there needed to open. Maybe if not able to leave the spoon to take to the mouth, maybe I help and if another child is there, if sometimes we assist until you have to put, if there are times when his condition is a bit worse, you have to put some food in his mouth so that he may take some several spoons, so that finally he can even open eyes, he's able to stand. So all, even the other kids have been of great assistance, they have understood he has a condition. Okay, they may not have fully understood what exactly it is, but they always know that there is a problem because maybe when he seems like dizzy, they always alarm, alert the teacher. And they are like kind of fairly fast looking for. Yeah, by the way, when he find him, this way are like all fairly fast looking for the food. Kona mchezo, ukiona Emmanuel, unajua Emmanuel unaweza noti kabisa sukari kiyanguka utanoti yaraka. Ukiona Emmanuel ameanza kukaa hivi, kurege ya rege ya hivi, when jinsi yenyewe sukari meyanguka. Zaire ainyanguka ako very active. Wali murumi ya sana. Kitu kwa nini wali murumi ya sana na wakalia? wakiuliza hii ungonjwa umetoka wapi tena wakiona mtoto wao akidungwa kila wakati walikuwa wanalia wanapinduka tu kando wanalia ukiwaambia nataka mumfunze mjifunze kumpima wanasema hapana huyu mtoto tunamuuliza bu bure wako wanaamini kama anaweza kuwa na hiyo shida ya kisukari wanaambia rudisha tena mtoto hospitali uone kama ni ugonjwa wa kisukari juu unaweza hata sengine nikiwaachia wampima wampimi wanasema wanaongopa wanasema wewe si mgonjwa wa kisukari wakikoza kumdunga anakojeka tena ndio wakakuja ku realize wanamuumiza niliwaambia wakati huu mnakata kumdunga mnamuumiza beta mumdunge ama mpime mjue sukari yake imefika wapi kuliko kukosa mkisema ati mnamsaifu hiyo ni kumuumiza mnamuumiza hapa hapa nimeweka makaa waka ka container kako na makaa alafu nilipima center yako nikaweka makaa huku ndani alafu nikaweka hii mkebe juu sitaweza kun Sina uwezo wa fridge. Hata stima vile unaziona hapa hakuna. Then iko kwa token. Tazijui nitalipa mwaka gani. Sasa dawa zangu nasiwekanga hapa na kambox. Nime pale chini nimeweka kakato nuru. Hapo nimeweka nini? Sinjazitoa kwa ile katoni yake. Ninaiweka hapo ndani. Alafu dawa naziweka hapa ndani. Kwa hivyo hii ni regular. Hii ndio fridge yangu. Pamp. 
pampa ununue mpya kama hijatumika uiwekere maji uiweke maji alafu ufunge hizo ndawa zako hapo hiyo ni fridge nyingine ama chini unaweka mchanga unamwagilia what is the financial cost to a household to a family uh, who are managing or living with a child with diabetes in a year for example what are the costs what are the things that require them to spend on in order to be to manage or to be able to handle a child who's living with diabetes when you talk about insulin if it wasn't being provided if the strips were not being provided, the tests, the HbA1c, um, um, every, uh, once every three months, the kidney liver function test, dental, eyes, annual, those are annual, it comes to between 50 to 70,000 Kenya shillings a year. Now, when you look at that and divide by 12, and you look at every month what that family has to, uh, has to have for that child to survive because insulin is a life-saving drug, then you, you, you realize that it's, a, it's very expensive. And that's the reason why some of the parents, if they don't get the insulin, if they do not know where to get it, within a year, that child will die. Sina was was na yeye, juu ata yeye mwenyewe, ukiangalia haki yake hata kama ni saile mnapata saile nimekosa protein ndio ana nikikosa maybe protein ama nikose mboga ni sangine hizo challenges na kuja unapata umepata unga na utapata mboga vizuri hiyo siku ana mkanga akiwa mgonjwa ana mkanga akiwa mgonjwa sukari ikienda chini unapata kazi sukari zake sana sana upenda kwenda chini sana sana na najua tu ikimendeidiwa vizuri atakuwa mtoto wa kawaida kama watoto wale wengine kimasomo ako sawa Anybody whose diabetes is not well controlled, be it a child or an adult, can develop complications of diabetes. As long as the blood sugar is high uh, consistently, there can be complications. The major complications are in the eye, and the vision can be affected if sugar is poorly controlled for a long period. The kidneys can be affected if uh, blood sugar is uh, poorly controlled for long periods of time. And there can also be problems uh, with the limbs, uh, with sensation in the feet, if um, blood sugar is not well controlled. But if we have a good control of blood sugar, then the development of these uh, complications can be delayed or avoided altogether. So it's all about how well the disease is controlled. Do you take this child like a normal child who has a condition that they need to manage because that is what it is. They have a condition they need to manage. They are not, they are not special kids. And that is what we are trying to, but they need to manage, they need the times in school to inject themselves and that is what we are, we are seeing. The kids, always we are telling them, you know, you are your own doctor. <laughs> kajua kwa nini tukasione ni kama kuteswa kana teswa sahi kanaelewa kwa nini kana dunga hata sengine kana niambianga mama mimi bado amjanidunga unasikia kana kwambia mimi ndio amjanidunga kujidunga ndio bado hajajua kujidunga lakini kujipima alikuwa anajipima wakati mashine ilikuwa nzuri alikuwa anaweza kujipima ajue sukari iko juu anajua ikiwa juu na anajua iko chini one you know how to manage better and two you know that uh, um, you know you, your your lifestyle has to change in order for you to be able to uh, to live uh, you know with that with that condition. So that for me is really gratifying. Very young children uh, getting to have that information, being able to manage themselves, not to depend on other people, but to manage themselves. And when they go to school, they can even explain to their teachers that I have this condition. I am required at this particular time to be able to, uh, to take medication. That, to me, is a real, real step forward overall in terms of, of dealing with this matter. The complications rarely occur in children because they are a function of time. But remember, the child who is diagnosed with the diabetes at the age of 10 is likely to live with this disease till they are 50, till they are 60, till they are 80. And so the complications can arise in the long term, but they will occur in adulthood. 
So for us as uh, carers of children, what we are trying to do is to make sure that we give them a good foundation so that they don't develop complications in their adult life. Some of these are teenagers. So they go through the, the same things, that, uh, the same uh, problems in teenage. They have that and then add the, the, the diabetes. So they become, uh, some of them become very riotous. They don't want to inject. Others uh, do an overdose uh, because they want to punish the parent or somebody else. And so it is this that has th that education, that talking to them all the time and telling them, this is a condition you have to manage. It's a lifelong condition. So when you take care of yourself now, 20, 30 years to come, you'll be okay, no complications. And we start talking about complications to these kids very early. And we tell them it is what we are doing now. Kwanza na jaribu kumanage sukari yake, nikiona asubu ya meamuka vibaya, si kimbili yangi kumpeleka tusure araka, juu niliongea na mwalimu, nikamuambia weu kiona imano na mecherewa, hakuna hanja ni walete mtoto, mapema na meangusa sukari, musinde mukini tafuta. Mimi kwanza na jaribu kuimanage, ikirundi penye inafaa na mureta nimitishamba itaenda ilalishe tu hiyo ugonjwa hata kama itapona siku mbili lakini hiyo ugonjwa mpaka imeenda iniwe kulingana na vile daktari amesema medicine yake inafaa kama umekosa insulin kwa mwili hakuna uwai na hakuna mitishamba inazaweka mi insulin if they can even try to make us meet these people who are offering the, 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 the remedies i think it would be a good help to a teacher who is with the kids the whole day na huwa na shukuru ndiye mai kabisa kabisa wametusaidia juu kama sio wao singekuwa na jua Emmanuel akoanje hata nafikiri labda Emmanuel angesaa kuwa amekufa we have been working with the Kenya um, uh, diabetes management and information center um, to do the following number one is to um, host medical camps in various parts of the country and through these medical camps, we have been able to create awareness of the disease and also uh, do screening uh, for those who come to our camps. And beyond the screening, therefore, to do some intervention um, that will support people living with diabetes to, able to be able to manage their lives a lot better. It was started as a result of the numbers that were going up, that were noticed going up uh, in diabetes and the problems that were there, that people were being diagnosed late. As long as the blood sugar is well controlled, uh, we don't expect to see any effect on the development of the child. This is a child who will grow normally, they will play normally and they'll perform normally in school. The problem comes if it is poorly controlled because then it affects growth and this child will not be able to grow like the others, will not be able to participate in activities like the others. But in a well-controlled child, they're exactly like any other child. The youngest child we've had at the center is three months. So you can see it is, it is taking root that the professional healthcare providers are also now thinking diabetes when a child is brought and are checking the blood sugar and this is very encouraging and one of the things that um, uh, for me personally really surprised me was a kid of about eight years um, who is completely knowledgeable about the time that they need to take their medication how to actually inject themselves with medication and this kid knew so much uh, about that condition. Now, with that knowledge, you can then see that it is possible for this child to live a reasonable, a reasonable life. And really, awareness, creating awareness is absolutely crucial. To Mama Emmanuel and to Mama Duncan, diabetes is not a disease of the rich, but a disease that their children have to live through for the rest of their lives. A disease that nonetheless they believe will not affect their children's future, a future they believe is bright. That's where we wrap up this episode of Health Digest with me, Dr. Masikorir.